Hey guys, this is Navinia. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So, back to our Catalyst series. In the previous video, we have seen how to send a GET call, and today we will see how to send a POST call with the JSON payload and a very basic scenario. We will see that. So, for example, let's say I'm going to show you one uh, practical example over here, which is uh, request res dot in. We have to create a user, and then while creating the user, it's a POST call. You can see. And this is the service URL, and this is the complete URL that we have to do that. So when you uh, send the request, let me just show you once again. This is the create and post call. This is the payload that we have to give. So I'll just copy this particular payload. See this. This is the payload that we have to pass, and we will get the response with 201, and whatever the user information that we are passing, it will be added over here. It will be created, and then it will be respond back to you. So how to handle this request with Gatling? So back to our Gatling uh, IntelliJ, and then what exactly I'm going to do? I'm going to create first of all under resources, under test resources, I'm going to create one package to maintain my JSON payload. So I simply create a simple first of all directory over here, and I end up directory. Let's say I'm creating this is my bodies uh, folder, and under this particular bodies directory folder, I'm going to create a simple file. Let's see my file name is add a user dot json file. I'm going to create that and I'm going to copy paste that particular json. Simple paste it over here. It means this is the name and the job uh, I'm going to pass. Then I'll go to my simulations uh, under Scala uh, directory. Simple create a new Scala class and let's see this is my add user uh, simulation. Okay, Scala class that I'm going to do. And I'm going to import two important packages over here. First, three important packages actually. One is that import io dot getling dot core. Okay, dot scenario dot simulation. So you have to write capital S simulation over here. And then another one is that import io dot getling dot core dot predefined dot underscore and then import that we have already seen earlier that import dot catling dot uh, catling dot HTTP also we have to do that and dot predefined methods are available predefined classes are available and the methods are coming from this particular package and we know that okay in Gatling every simulation class should extend what it should extend a simulation class over here so this is a simulation class I have extended now same thing we have to create our HTTP reference. So how to create that simple like HTTP dot a base URL. What is your base URL? So my base URL will be HTTP colon W or see the directly I'm writing request res dot in over here. And uh, do you have any header to pass? Yes, let's see any header which I'm going to write that is will let's see accept uh, value. Uh, which is equal to what application uh, JSON this is what I'm okay I'm going to pass if you have any other header I'm going to write one more header and the name is let's see content type content type as uh, because we are going to pass the application JSON over here which is equal to application JSON application forward slash json okay so this is the http configuration is ready now now second thing guys that i have to create a scenario so how will you create a scenario and first of all that this http reference that i have created i'm going to store in a, a variable let's see the variable name is uh, http conf which is equal to this after that what i'm going to do i'm going to create one more scenario so scenario i'll be storing let's see in this particular scenario a variable which is equal to I simple write this is my scenario scenario name is let's see add a user a scenario right and after that I'm going to use my dot executable method which is exact method I'm going to write it and in exact method what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to uh, pass this particular HTTP method like this and inside this particular HTTP method actually uh, we have to pass the request name. What is the request name? So let's see my request name is a simple add user a request name that I'm going to pass. After that, what exactly you want? After that, I want a post call. So simple a post call it is. And what is the service URL? So service URL, guys, you will be getting it from here. This is like slash API 
slash users. So this is my slash API slash uh, users over here. And then do you have any JSON payload body? Yes, I do have that. So simple write a body method and the JSON payload is available actually under my this particular uh, folder bodies folder. So what I'm exactly I'm going to do. I'm going to use the file path over here. So I simply say that this is the this is one method raw file body. And what is the path? The path of the body is I'll start with dot slash forward slash src under src go to test under test we have resources so go to a project directory then src test resources and then we have one folder that is called bodies a folder and under bodies folder we have this add user dot json file is available after that what we have to do after that we have to convert this whatever the file dot json content is available we have to use this as json over here so i simply write uh, dot as uh, json this is the thing that we have to use that and after that do you have any header to pass that we have already created over here if you really want to have some extra header that also you can pass it so we will get one method over here that is let's see dot header method if you really want to pass one more content type application json that you can pass it so let's say i'm just taking it so that you will uh, tomorrow you want to create one more you can do that so content type is what when you get the header Okay, then we have to send the request with the post call and then what exactly the status code that you are getting it So I simply write okay dot uh, Check I'll be using and uh, status is Let's see we are getting 201 if you see that status response will be 201 over here. So I'm writing 201 Okay, so let's see this is working or not and after that we just need to create a setup method So let me just first of all close this request Close the scenario and then we have to create one setup a method and inside the setup method we have to inject the scenario so i simply write scn dot inject and uh, how many users you want let's see at once users only one right now and then what is the protocol name the protocol http conf that we have already created okay so let me just save it that's it so this is a simple post call i'm going to run it now how to run simple right click on your engine and uh, run engine let's see it is picking this simulation or not so you can see it is scanning searching for the compilation settings and uh, let's see it is picking or not so yeah it is trying to pick it's saying something is running the simulation got started now okay it's saying that choose a simulation so let's see we have two simulation test api simulation and add user so let's see my simulation name is add user so i simply write zero over here and then press enter i simply write yeah this is the test add a user this is the description i'm writing enter it got started simulation got started sending the request generating a report there are it's saying but actually found 200 actually we are getting 200 over here so that is the error that is the assertion error that we are getting it so let me do one thing instead of uh, 201 i'll write 200 over here okay and let's see we will run it again so we will right click on this engine and run this okay so engine got started and uh, it will find out how many simulations you have so we have yes two simulations zero and one part zero a simple write add user test okay simulation got started looks good everything looks good perfect there are no errors and zero failures and all the proper reports got generated and you can see all the response time uh, matrix is also coming and then other percentile matrix also coming over here and then we have this particular uh, inside the target we have this uh, HTML file also got generated over here so I'll just copy this HTML and then we will see what kind of report it is generating so i simply go to a new tab and control v cool so this is a report that we are getting it <clears throat> so okay it's saying add user so internally actually <clears throat> what is happening here is that internally it is calling two requests one is add user and add user direct to redirect one because there is a redirection url is also available so what happens sometimes when you hit a particular url it will call internally one more url so this is why they are getting two requests over here but actually in our actual user request is this for us that we have written 
So we have seen the add user request, which is coming perfectly fine. And this is a response, okay, details. That doesn't matter. We are using only one, only one single user, which is fine. If you go to the uh, result, I mean, details over here, this is the add user request that we have written. And uh, to request, add user, it is showing available over here. So these are the matrices are coming. So you can see that, okay, yeah, this is absolutely working fine. Then what I'm going to do that, let's see, for the end-to-end -end scenario, I'll go to this particular IntelliJ once again. And uh, after using this particular user, after creating this particular user, I want to get all the users once again. So how will we do that? It means, can we write a back-to-back -back scenario over here? Yes, we can do that. So this is the first scenario we have written with the post call. In the same scenario, you can create complete transaction over here that let's see dot simple. I'll write first of all that pause method. When you create, you do a pause of let's see three seconds. You can do that. The duration of three seconds that okay, I have written. And after that, what you have to do, you have to create one more a request. So simple write one more exact method. And then what is the service URL this time you want to use? I mean, I simple write first of all HTTP method I'm going to use. This is my request name that get user request once again. I'm writing it get user request and after that what kind of uh, a request it is so simple it's a get call so I simple write get over here and what is let me just write it like that get call and uh, what is the service URL for service URL for get call again you can come over here and you can check that uh, single user let's see API users two. so I simple write API users uh, two over here like that if you really want to use list of users, you can pass question mark query parameter page equal to two. Also, you can write it. So I'm writing, let's see, API users two once again. And uh, after this uh, get, that's it. I don't want to do anything. And I really want to check the status. So I simply write one a check. The status is actually 200. And the scenario is done. So in this particular scenario, guys, if you see that there are two requests, one is post and I'm giving a pause over here. And after that, so if you really want to see the code properly, let's put a, a space over here like this. So pause and then second request is get user request and this is the add user request. So likewise, you can create n number of requests in the same scenario for the complete end to end scenario. You can do that. OK, now let's run it again and let's see if it is working or not. And right click on it. Go to run. And later on, I'll tell you that, OK, how will you set up a put request? How will you get a the value from the response and then pass some value to the next request those are slightly different scenarios advanced scenarios you will see it later so let's put a zero over here once again and let's see simple test add user and getting executed and you can see that uh, pausing for three seconds and after three seconds then only get request will be sent so it is giving a pause over here after this this giving a pause because when you simulate the real time scenario, okay, this is what is happening. You are not hitting back to back, right? In performance testing, let's see for a specific scenario, I'm just adding the user and then waiting. And then again, I'm handling some different scenario. So this is a nice feature that, okay, they have given in the form of a script in the form of method over here. And then the uh, report got generated. So this time, okay, let's see, just directly use this particular number and I'll change the URL in my, okay, in the browser. So this is the, number it will be and then see this so this time we have a get user request also see got added over here you can see that get user request also got added but with get a request we are getting one error it's saying one error over here that uh, something unknown host exception oh okay maybe it could not hit so unknown host request we are getting it over here but you can see that okay this is the two requests back to back they are calling it Okay, so this is what guys you can do that. This is a very very basic scenario that I have uh, given the problem is that we have to write forward slash here. That's why it was giving the error. Let me run it again for uh, Okay, and let's see the error is gone or not Because this is a service URL we have to write with forward slash API users to now press zero and test add user once again <clears throat> so let's see this time we are getting the proper result or not see you can see that uh, it's sending the request getting all the logs there are no errors and then so far looks good to me and then just copy this number 
or you can just copy the entire URL for the index.html and then update it over here. So I'll just update it over here. Now this time it's not giving you any error, which is absolutely fine. Let me go to the global and no error, error is gone. So you can see get user request and there is a redirect request internally they are calling. That is get user request redirect one. Okay, so perfectly fine. No errors are available like that. Tomorrow you want to add some more requests. Let's see get all the users. You can just keep adding it over here. So let's see after that I want to create one more pause. Uh, let's see pause for again for two seconds this time and then I simple write sorry. I simple write uh, let's see dot execute with HTTP and uh, what is the request name so request name I'm writing let's see get all user request this is the request name that I'm passing put a bracket and uh, and then 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 what we have to do let me just after that it's get call so simple right uh, we will be using the get over here so dot uh, get and what is the a service URL that you want to use so I simply go to this particular application let's see list all the users uh, the service request name is this so I just simple copy this entire thing from here so let me just copy from the URL okay so after this yeah copy from here go back and uh, this is the request simple paste over here do not forget to put a forward slash and then that's it and after that I want to do a check that status what is the assertion that you want to write later on I'll tell you you can write the JSON path also but <clears throat> that we will see it later so the status is 200 you can use JSON pass path so whatever the response that you are getting you can fetch some value so whatever the you know the key value from the JSON array or JSON object you can fetch it on the basis of the key and then that's it okay so it looks good now so three requests that we have created get all users get users and add users like that you can create some basic scenarios end to end scenarios you can do that now let's do the final run and then <clears throat> that is the last request for today so run this let's so simulation getting started first of all it's collecting the simulations and uh, yep so let's write zero and then test add user enter okay running fine pausing see pausing for three seconds and then the next request that is see this it's saying pausing three seconds get user request next time you can see all the logs with this particular request scenario is equal to this user id equal to one that we are passing it so no errors zero failure and let's see the report this time once again so copy this particular number and go back to the reporting part copy this okay enter and then you can see there are multiple requests see this is add user then get user and then get all request all user request that we are getting it and you can check the report over here like that and then if you really want to increase the total number of users at one uh, at once user you can increase the count over here as well okay so that's all for this particular video guys this is how we send the post request with gatling in the next video i'll tell you some other scenarios some other features that uh, what are the different uh, response time what i mean the response request that we have to capture how to send a put call delete call all those things i'll tell you so till then take care thank you so much guys please practice gatling a very very interesting tool and there are a lot of advantages are there with this tool let me know if you have any issues with that please do not forget to uh, watch the previous videos of gatling if you are struggling with the setup and everything please watch properly put in the comment section if you're facing any issues with that until then, take care, subscribe to the channel and God bless you all.